Total eclipse of the heart. Yeah, yeah, total lunar eclipse happening this upcoming Sunday. What is it? Well, it's when the moon moves behind Earth's shadow. A little bit more common than a solar eclipse, and all of North America will be able to see it as long as the weather cooperates. This is kind of what it's going to be looking like uh, between 841 and 943, the total lunar eclipse. The moon will be turning this kind of deep, dark, reddish color. What happens is it's going completely behind Earth's shadow, and light passes through Earth's atmosphere and it kind of bends or it refracts and it's being reflected onto the moon. That's why it turns that reddish color. Uh, that's basically every sunset on Earth being reflected onto the moon's surface, which is kind of cool. And also bonus points. This is also going to be a super moon. It's when the uh, elliptical orbit of the moon, the full moon, actually coincides with uh, the moon's perigee when it's actually closest to Earth. So it'll appear brighter and larger than normal than what a typical normal uh, full moon would be. So good news there. Will we be able to see it? Unfortunately, there will be a weather system that moves through on Sunday, giving us quite a bit of cloud cover. But the good news is because this is a long winded event, it's going to be about three hours total from start to finish Sunday evening. There's a good chance we will see at least a couple of breaks in the clouds, and that's what we're hoping for. Keep your uh, calendar pointed to Sunday evening between about 730 and about 1030 at night.